if you're an independent artist and you are looking to release an album, I'm gonna shed light on how I'm gonna release my new album and why I'm pretty much really done caring about uh, the things that most artists care about, which is streaming, Spotify, all that crap. So here's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to release a, a new album. So it's called Views from the Sunset. Before I do that, I wanna put out sort of like um, a, a, like a lead up project called Sunset Demos. And so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna really focus on two things. One, my warm current audience, which is, you know, people in my network. And two, using this album to grow my audience. So here's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it up on a website called even.biz and it's gonna be a pay what you want. You can either get it for a dollar minimum. I thought you could download it for free, but they, they make you put some kind of price. So I'm gonna do it as a dollar minimum or pay however much you want. And no matter what you end up paying, you know, even if you buy it, I will, you know, get your name, email, phone number. I think, I don't know if I get your phone number, but definitely name and email, which is great. Because even if someone only buys it for a buck, that's awesome because now I have contact info and I can, you know, add them to my email list and I can ascend people, you know, through my journey, which is great. So that's kind of going to be the cool thing. And the pay what you want is sort of like an offer you can't refuse, right? If you're really into supporting independent artists, I get the very least like a dollar and or you name the price, which really lets you give the value, which is really good, which is really dope, I think. And the way that I'm going to grow the actual, how I'm going to grow my audience with it. So I'm going to try out a very new type of marketing approach. And I'm not going to divulge the entire thing now because I think it'd be better if I was screen recording and I was on a whiteboard. But I think the other thing is I haven't run it yet. I've run this play before somewhat um, but not really the exact way I'm going to construct it now. So I want to actually do it first and then show you what the results look like. But essentially, I've just realized what a waste of money it is to be putting money toward growing on Spotify. Um, it just doesn't make sense. I'm not at the point where I'm going to pull all my music off of Spotify. I think that's I just don't want to do that because I have fans that I care about that have Spotify. So I want them to be able to easily access my music. Um, but I'm not going to be spending money on Facebook and Instagram ads to run toward getting my Spotify views up because it doesn't do anything for me. What I would rather have is a way to sell my music direct to consumers. And you know what? I've done this before twice. I've had two albums where I've actually sold it directly to people and they've bought it. And so I'm just going to continue doing that because it works. <laughs> I've done it with cold traffic. I've done it with warm traffic, warm traffic, meaning people who are already in my network. And I've actually run ads and basically it's a really simple type of ad. I'll just explain it really quick. It's just you're running an ad to get messages and you do. I would I'm going to run Facebook and Instagram, but I've done Facebook ads where it's Facebook Messenger, and then people literally send you a message wanting to hear a song, and then you send them your song, and then after that you have like an actual conversation with them, and then if they're interested, they'll buy your album. Now, what I'm gonna do now differently is instead of doing it on Facebook Messenger, I'm just gonna do Instagram ads. So I'm gonna run Instagram DM ads, to get a sneak peek of a song for an album, send them it. It's going to be a private SoundCloud link. See if they like it. And then if they obviously don't like it, I'm not going to keep talking to them. And if they do like it, I'll talk to them, have a conversation with them. And then if they're interested, be like, yo, I have like this, you know, I have this album coming out right now called Sunset Demos. It's, it's a give them a one sentence synopsis. This is what it's about. Um, it's literally a pay what you want. Would you be interested in seeing it and supporting me and sending it to all, them all just via DMs and just conducting the entire 
conversation and sales process that way. And I'm really, really excited to run this because I've done it before on Facebook and it did work pretty well, but it was so new to me that I didn't really know what I was doing. And now I think with, with, with doing it on Instagram, I think it's so much better. So that's the play I'm going to be running. I'm really, really excited about it. I wanted to share with you kind of just to document the journey because I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be a revolution. I mean, I think we're already starting to see it. I, I just think, you know, I think Spotify just keeps doing more and more crap to artists. And I think it's just getting worse. It's weird because we're in an age where it's never been easier to grow as an independent artist. Like it's literally never been easier. You can create as much content as you want, post it however you want. There's no barriers to entry. But in terms of actually quote unquote breaking through, it's also super difficult because like there's like no way of you actually making money with streaming. It's super hard. But there's platforms such as even.biz that are creating a, a really, really great wave of other artists doing the same thing. Guys like LaRussell is the biggest example. If you've never heard of him, go check him out. But it's becoming very, con it's becoming much, much, much more common practice. And I think the market will never lie. I think it's getting to a point where really we just need the fans to get on board so like artists obviously we all hate spotify and we're like we want to kill spotify like we all hate it but fans don't fans love it fans are like we love spotify like no way like we don't we wouldn't want spotify to go down it's like amazing it's changed my life my dad was at one of his friend's houses and his friend used to have this massive cd collection my dad asked him like hey how's your cd collection He's like, I'm getting rid of everything. And my dad's like, why are you getting rid of everything? He's like, because I got Spotify. So like Spotify, there's obviously a market for it. But I think like, obviously, best case scenario, not going to happen. But best case scenario is every single music artist on the planet just straight boycott Spotify. Like if we all just decide like, fuck it, we're going to get off Spotify. We all just take our music off Spotify and boycott Spotify they would they, they, they would change, but they're not gonna do that. No artist is, there's not gonna be enough artists to do it. So even me, I'm not taking my music off Spotify, but if you wanna listen to my music, here's how you can listen to it. And you know, create a very specific world and a very specific way to get hold of my music. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just wanted to share this with you and document the journey. Hopefully it inspires you, right? Like hopefully you're think you're, so if you want to be a part of this journey, all you got to do is follow me on Instagram. Just click the link below. Go follow me on Instagram at Lizzie the Gifted. I'm going to be posting updates and showing you exactly how I'm going to be going through uh, putting out this album. So thanks for watching. Hope you got some value. See you on the next one. Peace.